Hello, and thank you for joining me. This is the third series, uh, third uh, video in my series of going through chess.com, going through the bots, the different personalities. Right now, I'm on uh, Laura at 1100, and we are just going to be going through um, the intermediates that go up to 1400, and then the advanced that are 1500 to 2100. And then we'll go through as many masters, or at least as I can, which is about 2300 is where I start to, to crap out there at that point. So um, one thing about learning from chess videos, sometimes when I watch grandmasters, they're so far ahead of me that I, I don't really understand what they're doing. And um, sometimes if they make a mistake or something, that's actually the best way to learn. So with my videos, I... Uh, Normally do them all live in one shot and what you see is what you get and if I make a mistake I post it just the same as if it was a great move, uh, great move and then we, we talk about it. Um, this is a game that I did play at lunch while I was cooking a pizza and it ended up being a great game and so I thought well actually that game captured everything I wanted to show my audience so maybe uh, I'll just go through it and so um, that's what I did uh, and uh, it, we'll go through it with the computer analysis and so you know these are interesting numbers it's a 30 move game and it said that uh, I only performed at a 55 percent and my opponent at a five and a half percent so let's let's see what happens here so in the beginning again just try to control the center and develop your pieces get get them out there get things going so i wanted to do a lot of queen side action in this game so that was my intent was to show people some queen side active queen side castle development on the queen side try to attack on the queen side now this move the computer says this would have been the best move um, i didn't think this was too bad it's computer says it was an excellent move but not the best move my intent was to maybe just try to double up some pawns or something um, okay but this does control more diagonals here if it was here so i think that's uh, you know part of and it's part of controlling the center so yeah i can see where that is definitely the best move but i want to encourage you experiment with this chess especially 1100 is a respectable elo and it's just perfect to where there's enough game there that it makes you think and um it's also enough game where you get to try things um, and there's no pressure it's not like a live game with somebody okay so here i want to kick that knight out of here and this is uh, i think a mistake on laura's part and something i want to point out uh, it's not a mistake that she went back here but when she came here it should have been you know hey what happens if this guy just kicks me out now unfortunately she went right back to where she started most games if they're evenly matched only go to you know what is it 42 moves or something and so she just gave me a free move. That's a lot. But she gave me a lot because I got to get this pawn out there. It's like I get one free free turn or something. Think about it like that. So think about that. Next time you feel like getting out of peace and you know you're going to have to retreat it right back where it came from. Think about what I said there. You're giving you, you know, you're only going to, you might only get a 42 move game or something. And you're going to give somebody a free turn. Uh, so be careful about that. Uh, I'm keeping the attack. I'm, I already have it in my head, which I, um, I normally wouldn't do this in a game, but I want to castle queen side, so I, I don't, I'm not too concerned about what happens on the king side over here. Uh, I do want to play a good game and attack, and that's what I've done here. Okay. So this was a blunder, obviously. She should have uh, retook. Uh, she did not, and um, that happens. So let's keep things going again. Um, this sometimes isn't a bad idea. I, I like the idea of putting a rook down a file and really threatening, especially most people like to castle and then your king's here. So, but she's preventing herself from castling in the future and it is a closed file. Uh, we do have a couple pawns here. Um, it's a little early, a little premature to do something like that. Um, okay. Let's keep this game going. I tried, I want to try to make this a quicker video. My last one was 20 minutes, but it was good. And I did cover a lot of stuff. Uh, I think that was with uh, either Maxim or Immer. Um, okay. 
So there's my queenside castle. Okay, right there. That's where I was wanting to. You can see I want to start developing stuff on the queen side just for the purpose of this video. Um, okay, so here are my knights under attack by this pawn. But rather than moving the knight, I'm going to trade it out for this bishop. In the end game, bishops are normally considered a little bit stronger than the knight unless there's a lot of pieces on the board. If there's a, still a lot of pieces on the board, a lot of pawns, uh, your knights are then considered to be a little stronger because they can hop around. You know, there's a free pawn right there. Um, they can move a little bit better than what a bishop can. A bishop can get blocked in real easy in, in, uh, in an in-game uh, sometimes. So in this case, I'm going to, I'll gladly make this trade. Now, I will be attacking, let me clear out some of those arrows. I will be attacking this queen. I mean, she has to do something. 1100, she's not just going to let me take her queen. She's going to come back. She's probably going to double up these pawns. Then I can move my knight to a, a safer square. Um, so before you just, oh, let me move my knight. Well, hang on. There might be something better. So that was my point to all that rambling. So um, now I'm going to move my knight to safety. Uh, the computer says this is the best move. Um, Probably because when you're up against the board, you only control four squares. If my knight was out, you know, out here, um, I would control eight. Now you're saying, well, wait a minute, Ryan, you're going to take, take your knight. Yes, that's true. But my bishop is hammering down this long diagonal. So that's probably why the computer said that was the best move. Um, and I'm up material anyway. Um, so... It, it wouldn't be, you know, sacrifice wasted uh, completely. There is a purpose to that. Okay, let's keep this thing going. Um, there's a check. Doesn't really go anywhere. So you see, I'm. This is my point to this video is, I'm trying to attack on the queen side, but look what happens. The king comes over here to the king side. Uh, I think the computer sees what's going on. So now i want to try to start moving my attack onto the king side and the quickest way for me to do this or at least what i saw was to um, get this pawn going uh, get something going up here get a nice pawn structure keep it going up uh, okay so attacking my queen okay and there's the check and uh let's see king retreats so here I come here with the queen. My idea is to come here and it's mate. That was my idea at 1100. Maybe she'll fall for it. Maybe she won't. Again, just trying some stuff. Okay. And so she sees it. She gives herself an escape route. Uh, computer says the best thing would be go here and to trade out the queens. Um, I would, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, the computer knows better than I do anyway, but yeah, I would agree with the, that on that. But um, so there's the check. Um, okay, so here I pushed this pawn here, and you saw where the computer said it was a good move, but it certainly was not the best. And um, so I thought about this, and then I, I, I understand, um, and I'm going to play it out. The computer was wanting me to eventually, you know, this, maybe the queen does something like this, and then wanting to go there, and it's mate. Um, so that's why the computer was wanting uh, me to go that path. And then if it took, um, if this took that pawn, then there's um, other ideas that I can keep pushing this pawn. I've got this uh, down, you know, heading down on the, uh, king right here. That's a lot of trouble. I got my uh, two bishops right here. Look at this. I can, you know, I can control all this so easily. So that's why the computer said pushing this pawn was the best move. Okay, so let's go back though and see. Let's continue on with our game. Okay, so we're there, there. Okay. And then, um, yeah, this doesn't really go anywhere. I remember playing the game thinking, well, that you're, you're blocked from all your action. Um, 
Yeah, so, okay. So that was definitely a blunder. Um, go back here. Okay. So, um, here, again, let's go back and look at this. This was an inaccuracy that I had made. Um, so, what I should have done is gone here for check. King goes here. And now I push here, and uh, it's mate. Um, so um, I did not see that when I played the game, I confess. Um, I What I did see, um, let me get back to the game, actual game, okay. What I did see was something that I was hell-bent on. That's right, I said determined. And that was um, just closing in on this uh, on this king here. I mean, I saw that I've got too much going on with this. It's probably just a matter of time. And uh, again, uh, yeah, this is uh, we're close here. Okay. And now it's mate because I own this. And this is protected by the queen. So um, I hope you find that very... Uh, instructional and uh, I'm going to keep going through all these again um, like I said I'll be getting into the 2300s um, uh, let's see here yeah there's quite a few that I haven't uh, won against um, so I'll be revisiting uh, some of these folks uh, there's uh, wow uh, 2450 wow geez okay so uh, if you can beat the 2450 then I should be watching your video learning from you that's for sure but uh, I'm going to be going through all these uh, thank you so much for watching this video and like I said it's a little bit of different and I always just post them live my other videos uh, what you see is what you get and um, you know I think that's a good way to learn is just uh, even I'm not ashamed to uh, pose my mistakes I think this uh, accuracy 55% uh, is a a little brutal, but uh, it's all good. It's all fun. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.